Hey everybody, welcome back to Reconvert, this is Eric and in this video we're going to cover the single and multi-product upsell widgets for checkout. Now this is a feature available for Shopify Plus merchants only, of course if it was up to us we would open this feature to everyone but this is a feature limited by Shopify for Shopify Plus stores only. Now I'm already in the Reconvert Checkout Customizer, if you want to learn more about the Reconvert Checkout Customizer just click the help video button in here and it's going to open up a pop-up with help video and some tutorials on how to use this editor. So I'm going to assume for the sake of this video that you already know how to use this editor. Now let's talk about the checkout upsell widget. The checkout upsell widget will allow you to embed different products to your checkout in whatever location you'd like and allow customers to add different products with a single click to their order with the option to sprinkle in a discount and customize some of the offering of that product. Now let's say that I want to add a product upsell specifically for the shipping page and I'd like to add it right between the shipping method and the customer information. Now I'm just going to click on add section next to whatever part I'd like to add my upsell to and here you're going to see a list of all the currently available widgets for the checkout editor in reconvert. Now, because we're talking about the multi-product upsell, that's the widget I'm gonna add. And as you can see, the widget has been added between the shipping method and the customer information, just like I wanted. Now, the multi-product upsell widget is built out of subsections. As you can see, I have a heading and I have a single product upsell. If I want, I can add another heading or another single product. Once I have all these widgets, of course, I can hide or drag and drop any of these elements to place them in whatever I order I want. In this case, I don't need two titles above the product, so I'm just gonna remove this title. And as you can see now, I have two products and the heading. If I'm clicking on the multi-product upsell itself, I'm going to also drag it into different sections of the page. As you can see in here, now it's below the shipping method. But again, I want to get it back to wherever it was before. Perfect. Now let's start by naming this widget. Okay, multi-product upsell. I'm going to call it my first multi-upsell. All right. And as for the heading, I'm just going to call it, you may also like these products. I can also customize the heading size, can make it h3, h2 or h1, I'm going to keep it h2 and I'm going to align it to the left. Now comes the fun part, by clicking the first single product, I'm going to be able to select which products are going to be displayed or excluded from the offer. By default, it's going to display Shopify recommendations using the Shopify recommendations API, but I can also choose to display the same product purchased, either the most expensive or the cheapest, or I can select specific product. Now if I select specific product, it's actually going to show up up as the selected product with all the details, variants, quantities, etc. including the description which we're going to get to in a second. If I'm going to choose either Shopify recommendations or any of the other dynamic options, you can see that I have a skeleton here as a placeholder for the image. Whenever I choose dynamic options, I can also add exclusion tags. These are tags that are going to hide any product that have these tags attached to it from showing up in the offer. For example, if I want to hide all the products that contains the tag hide, I'm just going to add it in here, click enter. And now all the products in my store that are tagged with hide are not going to show up in this upsell offer. You can add multiple tags in here. You can also set up the option to hide products that are already in the cart to prevent customers from getting the same product. And you have the option to enable or disable variant selection. I'm just going to enable that. Now in case I've selected most expensive product in cart or cheapest product in cart and I've included some exclusion tags for that product, I can choose what I want to happen in case the product purchased actually have the exclusion tags. So you can either use Shopify recommendations instead. This Play an alternative product and then you can select that product or you can hide the upsell. I'm just going to stay with Shopify recommendations. Now for the sake of the example and just to show you what it looks like with both dynamic option and a specific product, I'm just going to select a specific product in this case. Let's just take this shirt in here. Now moving on to blocks. Below the subsections we have in here, inside the product upsell we have different blocks. By clicking on them I'm going to be able to edit them on the right side. Now these blocks are not draggable. In the future some blocks might be, but at the moment you can either hide them, display them or configure them from here. So in the image option I can either hide the image completely, I can unhide it. As for the image fit you can choose if you want to have it hover or contained. In this example it doesn't really matter because the product image is square and you can choose to either display 
display main image or custom image and if you choose a custom image you can just select any image from here and that's what it's going to look like yeah now you can see that if i change now from contain to cover the image itself looks completely different but i'm just going to get it back to main product image you can also choose to change the image according to the variant selected which means that if i'm going to select different variant image the image itself is going to change in here moving on to the next block product details this is a block we cannot hide it contains the product title and secondary option by default we will use the product title but if you want to have custom title you can use that not a problem great and then for the subtitle which is what you can see here by default it's going to display the variant name but you can choose vendor type custom text which you can include whatever you want in or none i'm just going to keep it at the variant name for now and let's move on to the next section the description the description can be hidden you can choose to display an alternative product description as you can see the description by default is expandable you can choose to display alternative product description and then you can write it in here i'm just going to keep it with the default and then you can make it collapsible which if unchecked the description is going to show up below the product. I'm just going to keep it collapsible. And then you can also choose if you want it expanded by default or collapsed by default. I'm going to keep it at collapsed. And of course, you can control the description text if you're using another language on your store. Moving on to the next section, price and discount. This is another block you cannot hide. And there are a few options similar to the options we have on our thank you page and the post-purchase upsell offers. You can choose if you want to display the product compared to price, original price and price including discount. You can also control the sizes so again let's start with applying discount as for discounts currently we have the options for percentages or fixed amount per unit sold so let's just apply 10% discount for this product and now let's change the sizes of the pricing itself all right I'm just gonna keep it at default for now moving on to the buttons here we can configure the button style and text by default you can see that it's secondary you can change it to primary or make it plain and change the text to add to cart for example Okay. As for variant picker, at the moment, you can either enable or disable this option. I'm going to keep it enabled. And as for quantity picker, again, you can either enable or disable it, but you can also set a default quantity. Let's say three, because I want it to be set to default of three units. You can also set a minimum and maximum. Let's say that I want it to be a minimum of two and a maximum of four. The default is going to be three, but I'm not going to be able to get below two and above four for this offer. So these are all my blocks for the multi-product upsell. Of course, if you delete any of the blocks in here, you can always get them back by clicking the add block button and you're going to see a list of the available blocks. Right now, I just deleted the variant picker. So that's the only one I can add. And once added, it's going to be shown up right in here. As for the second upsell, I'm just going to use the most expensive product in cart for this example, and I'm going to change nothing else. Once I'm done, I'm just going to click on save. The last step would be to go to the Shopify checkout editor and configure the precise location of my upsell widget so that we'll know exactly which widget to display in what position at checkout. I can do that by clicking the go to Shopify editor button and go to the shipping page. Now I'm just going to click on add app reconvert and now I'm going to drag it to the exact location based on the location in the reconvert checkout editor. So as you can see my multi-product upsell is showing up right below shipping information so that's where I'm going to place it right below shipping information. The last step would be to actually configure the location and send it back to reconvert from the dropdown in the right menu. And the way to do that is again, just take the same location that you see in here and select it in the dropdown. In this case, shipping information. And I'm gonna hit save. That's it, you're now good to go. If I refresh the reconvert checkout editor, and go back to the shipping page, I should now be able to see my multi upsell widget in here. As you can see, the first product we configured was this product with a custom title, a 10% discount, default quantity of three, maximum of four, minimum of two. And the second one is configured to be the same product purchase and Shopify loaded probably a random product that is the same product. So we're just seeing the same product. Okay, so this is pretty much all you need to know. Just remember, you can now customize all the changes directly from the reconvert checkout customize if you want to make changes to this upsell just remember that if you're going to move the location of the widget you'll have to configure that in both the left menu and the right menu in here okay so if i wanted to move this product one step below let's say below order summary i'm just going to select it in here i'm going to select here order summary and i'm going to hit save go back to the reconvert customizer and then i'm just going to move it to order summary 
and I'm gonna hit save. So that's gonna work for me and now the product is going to work exactly the same on a different location. Okay guys, this is everything you need to know about the multi product upsell widget for Shopify plus stores using reconvert. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to reach out to our live chat support at the bottom right corner of the screen. We are available for you 24 seven. Also, if you'd like to set up a demo where we can help you up setting up everything for you again, just let us know and we can definitely do that for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.